You guys think it's really spicy? I mean, it sneaks up on you. I already feel it now in the back of my throat, my tongue. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here, coming at you from Miami Dade County with my father. Hey. Today, what we're doing is we're gonna eat some vegan street food out here in southern Miami Dade County, right next to 10 Miami Airport on the cusp of Homestead. I've never heard of this place. I hear the food is amazing. It's called the Sundays. It's a food truck and they do vegan. So all plant-based food. They have some Indian food, they have some Mexican food, they also have coffee. You've never been here, right? Never, never had this kind of food anyways. You've been out here to this area? Yeah, yeah. I tried learning how to fly here, but I, I never learned. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually right next to the zoo, so Miami Zoo or Zoo Miami. So yeah. right next door, I mean, it's like a 10 minute drive from there. Now let's go inside, let's try some vegan food in Miami. So this is the way we look these days, but we're gonna eat, so we're not gonna use this now. So I have to put it on because I'm going inside the truck. Yeah. Pleasure, bro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So, what are we doing today? We, uh, I'm not sure. It's up to you. I think he has like eight different things on the menu. So, like six Indian dishes and two Mexican ones. Well, right now, my favorite items are the chilled orzo salad with uh, charred salsa verde, uh, applewood smoked trumpet mushrooms, uh, some avocado and red onion on top. That one's my favorite. Uh, an another uh, fun one is the artichoke toast. It's basically toasted sourdough with uh, charred artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, cannelloni beans, and uh, ancho chile butter. Is it spicy? I mean, any other food? I, I have a reputation for making everything spicy. Add some spice to mine if you have any spice. Oh, I'll take it's... spice. If you have a little bit of yogurt, do you have any yogurt? Any yogurt? <laughs> yeah. I have a limonada de coco that's basically yeah. coconut milk based uh, with okay. a bit of limeade. I have a vanilla limeade right now as well. Let's do it, whatever you yeah. think. This is our uh, vanilla limeade right over here. Basically, press squeeze lime juice, a bit of uh, vanilla extract, and sugar. So, what is this? What are we trying here? Vanilla with cocoa. Vanilla with cocoa. Let's see. Mmm, delicious. It's like a lemonade, right? It feels like a lemonade. So, lime juice, sugar, and a bit of vanilla. I'll mm -hmm. try it too. Don't worry. I'm with this guy every day, so we, we share everything. Oh, it's amazing. For the heat of Miami, this actually almost tastes like a, like sugarcane water. Exactly, exactly. What apple? What apple? What mm. apple? Da so delicioso eso. So this bread over here that we use for a chicken sandwich, it's basically bread that's uh, baked daily from Coral Gables and the bakery is called Le Bon Pine. So right now what we're doing is the artichoke toast. Started off with some bread, slice the bread, then he put some vegan butter. Okay, wow. vegan butter, wow. And now you're gonna put it on the grill? Yeah, get it nice and toasty. Okay. So you added artichokes, then sun-dried tomatoes, and then these beautiful beans. What are the type of beans? They're called butter beans. Butter beans, wow. Ancho chile rub and a bit of butter. Uh, tossed on top of two toasted breads with a bit of uh, chopped almonds and parsley. Oh wow, looks amazing. Artichoke toast. Looks, looks amazing. Like incredible. Look at this thing. I mean, it doesn't what look I, like an artichoke. Right? It, it looks more like a like barbecue chicken with beans, almonds, parsley, and sun-dried tomatoes. But obviously, that's artichoke. Good. It looks stellar, dude. Incredible. And what do we have here? Is there a limonada de coco? Limonada, limonada de coco. De coco. Want to try it? Okay, sure. Man. Limonada de coco. See? Very interesting. Mm. Oh wow, man. So it's so a tropical. limonada with coconut. Coconut milk. Mm -hmm. Coconut milk. Mm. Interesting like combination. For the heat. You know, it's June, summer's hitting. It's, oh, man. it's probably it's like hot. 85 degrees right now, right? No. All right, Dad, let's try it. Let's try it. So we use forks. Oh, whoa. Mm. Was it barbecue sauce? No, it's chile. Chile. Mm. So this is going to be hot? It's not chile. No. Yeah. So it's a soft chile. Mm -hmm. If this is what vegans are about, I love it. Oh, wow. Dude, this is incredible. So, 
not spicy at all. Obviously, you have the mushiness of the beans mixed with some of the almonds, a nice crunch. But I think what we have to do is we have to get it, right? Right. Messy. I think you have to. Go from here. Oh, it's a hard bite. It's amazing. Mmm. Oh man, I love the sauce. You've developed it's, a, it's like a nice paste. So many different flavors here. Mm. Good. I can't leave this. Mm. Dude. It's that sauce. Mm. So what's next? Uh, right now we're gonna do the paratha. It's basically an Indian flaky flatbread with uh, three dipping sauces. You guys know how much I love paratas. Paratas, rotis, just give me all the Indian food. All right, let's go. So right now we're just gonna put butter on the flat top. Green mango amba, spiced white onion pickles, and a purple carrot pickles. The mango one looks incredible. So it's like a mango chutney in a way, right? In a way, a green mango chutney. Yeah. A green mango chutney, wow. So this is the parata, this is Indian flatbread. You eat it a lot in Northern India. First time I had this, I was in Delhi. Incredible. Next to it, we have three things. Green mango amba, which is like a green mango. No, this one in the this middle. One. Okay. It's like a green mango, almost like a chutney. Okay. Right? Purple carrot pickles. And then pickled white onions here. Okay. Okay. Okay, Dad, so you ready? I'm ready. And we have to do, usually one hand, but we'll do two. Okay. Just get it, right? Yeah. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go try with it this. like this first. Yeah? I don't know. I like to have some type of sauce. Mmm. Which like one? Mmm. Now we have to do the Indian way. You gotta like go and get it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm messing with you. Mmm. Nice soft bread, a little crispy, a little roasty, right? And we also have something called chunk, which is like Indian spices, but he turned it into it's a... It's hot, be careful, be careful. This is very spicy? Yeah. Sort of. You guys think it's really spicy? I mean, it sneaks up on you. I really feel it now, in the back of my throat, my tongue. Okay, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good though, I'm all about spice. I feel like if the food doesn't have some type of spice, it's bland, you know? And then we're here, whoa. Big chunk. So this is the pickles. This is the Haitian condiment. I mean, it has some uh, some carrots, right? Basically, it feels like pickled onions, right? Almost a pickled, pickled cabbage, right? That's it. For texture, yeah. I mean, for me, that's the bomb. I'm gonna try some of this. And this is onions. Yeah. Hmm. Onions and pickled onions. So it's a uh, moist, crunchy. It's good. I mean, my favorite for sure is the middle one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going with this one. Mmm. That went on this one. It's very good. So basically, that's like a chutney from Iraq. From Iraq? Iraq, yeah. Oh, wow. So he does a, a big combination here of different flavors and textures. I mean, it's good because you feel a little bit of everything, right? You mean to tell me in Iraq they eat that kind of food? I mean, like uh, chutneys and stuff like this? Mm -hmm. India, never India expanded their uh, well, their, their culinary spice, trout, spice yeah. routes and stuff. I, I'm gonna, but I'm the parata, the parata is amazing. Mm -hmm. I have to congratulate you. I mean, I had a few, but this one's good. This one's awesome. You make it from scratch here. Yes. My favorite this one. My man, what's next? Right now we're gonna have a uh, chilled orzo salad with charred salsa verde, uh, applewood smoked trumpet mushrooms, and uh, avocado. Orzo is like a pasta. In Greece, this is what they have, mainly. They don't do like rice, they do like more orzo. Now we just put some olive oil, a bit of our charred salsa verde salsa, smashed avocado, and a bit of salt. So it looks like chicken, but it's not. Okay, Dad, so here we have orzo with a mushroom that they smoked 
right? Mm. Orzo is a pasta. Orzo is a pasta. They eat it a lot in Greece. Mm. It's got some with feta cheese, obviously, here with no feta cheese. It looks like rice, like a big grain of rice. It, it is. I mean, it looks like you were saying almost like a farro. But yes. no, I, I love farro as well. But let's dive in. Let's dive in. Let's see. And this is mushroom. It looks like meat, but it's not. Mmm. Oh, delicious, man. Mmm. Is it a pesto? Salsa verde. Salsa verde? Okay. I was gonna say, Mexican very similar. Pasta. It's super refreshing, especially for the summer. It's uh, it's light, even though it's a pasta, no? But it feels really light. Let me get some of this mushroom. But it it um, it feels like kind of a pesto. It's got a little bit of a yeah. pesto taste. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, a nice clumpy mushroom. Yeah. That is delicious. No. So smoke. this is applewood smoke. Mm -hmm. Applewood smoke. And what, what you can feel from that, it feels uh, very, like almost like slimy, right? The mushroom a little bit. I have to congratulate you. I mean, everything is really good. Yeah, man. This one especially, I like outstanding. Well, my, like, my dad's a really big pasta guy. Yeah? Uh, <laughs> but this is not pasta. It's, it's, uh, it, no, it's, it's, very, uh, it's, it's a pasta. It, it's almost like a pasta. Mm -hmm. And in, what I love about vegan food, or vegetarian food, is that it's always really filling. Even though you're eating mainly, you know, grass, yeah. it's super filling. Well, look at the dinosaurs. Some of the dinosaurs, they just mm -hmm. grass, right? All the major animals in the world, rhino, the rhino, gorilla, they're all straight plant. And look how strong gorilla is. You know, we're supposed to be only plant. Our teeth yeah. are just like gorillas. They're supposed to only eat yeah. plant. Yeah, so, why are we eating meat? so why are we eating meat? The last thing we're gonna try are two different cheesecakes. Oh, I cannot wait. Cheesecake is one of my favorite desserts. I'm not a big dessert guy, but cheesecakes are bomb. Look at this. Damn, dude, that looks so good. Did you just come up with these recipes? Just like... Basically, yeah, I wake up and I have to do this. <laughs> Smoked cherry cashew baked cheesecake. <laughs> wow. All right, here we have two cheesecakes. Smoked cherry cheesecake and the mango cheesecake. They both look phenomenal. Look at that. And he also Fantastic. sprinkled some couscous no, no. on top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can't wait, can't wait. All right, let's cut it up. Oh, dude, I can't wait to try this. This one. I mean, I'm all about mango, but this smoked, ooh, smoked cherry. So it's a mango cheesecake. With no dairy, probably, right? Just cashew nuts, that. Mm. Tell you one of my favorite cheesecakes ever. Oh Not man! Not too sweet. And he made it today, right? Like today. It's fresh. Mm. Super fresh. Mm. I'm gonna try this. Part. Smoked cherries. Mmm. I love the bottom crust, dude. So different, right? Because, I mean, being vegan, obviously, it's very different. No butter, right? Like real butter. Mm. You're gonna feed me? Fantastic. Oh wow. You got this unique Not mango. Right, I'm gonna have one more bite. I mean, one more, are you sure? Yeah. That's what you said two bites ago. Mm. Mm. But it's good. It's so good it's, it's hard to stop, right? I thought that was the last bite before. Oh that was the last bite of the other one. That crust. So here, their coffee is straight coffee. They don't add sugar, just basically espresso. So basically he's weighing the espresso because of what he does is he puts the day it was roasted and then you weigh it. I've never seen this done before. <laughs> this, is, this is cool. So you're timing and weighing at the same time. Basically, yeah. So right now we uh, perfectly extracted the, the espresso and uh, right now we're about to ice it. Bro, thank you so much. I mean, thank you so much for having me. Stay safe. Hope you're full. <laughs> for sure. Oh man, amazing. Plant-based, all the way. Dad, that was good, huh? I'm not a veggie guy, but I'm learning and I really liked it. This was awesome. All right, guys. So, that was amazing. Vegan street food in Miami. I had no idea it existed. <laughs> you have to come out here to Sunday, out here, Tam Miami Airport, Tam Miami Airport, near the Zoo of Miami amazing food my favorite thing was the artichoke 
Absolutely. Yeah? The you? first one. The I'll first one? The first one, yeah. First one was awesome. I mean, every I mean, single everything dish. everything was great. The parada, I mean, that Indian twist, really cool. I haven't actually seen a parada like that in Miami ever. Uh, and then after that, we had the orzo, delicious orzo, very refreshing. And then the dessert. And they also have delicious coffees. And the best part about Sunday is the price point between six and ten dollars, everything on the menu. They have a limited menu, like roughly ten things, but everything's vegan, everything's plant based. Vegan street food in Miami. If you guys love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Miami. Peace.